Oh look! Another video where Erica shows you all the books that she bought recently that are too many. In my defense for today, seven of the books that I have here were gifts from fellow booktubers. So while it seems like I, I still have a problem and just can't stop with the book buying, just seven were gifts and the others, well yeah I bought those but it's not as much, so. I just realized I forgot to say hello. Hi, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Anyway, on to the book haul, let's get started. The first three books that I'm going to talk about are actually uh, ebooks, which is exciting because l last month, no, two months ago, was the first time I actually read an ebook on a Kindle app. Devin from Indie Insomniac, who is wonderful and amazing, uh, he sent me three ebooks. You're so nice. I Thank you, thank you. The first book that he gifted me was The Exorcist because I was going to be a part of a buddy read for The Exorcist and I wasn't able to get the book in time, so he sent me the e-copy of Exorcist. The Exorcist, I'm sure we all know what that is about. Uh, an exorcism. <laughs> he also gave me a ebook copy of Zburbia, a zombie novel, which I'm really excited to read because I haven't read a zombie book in I don't know how long and zombie books are just they're just fun. It's fun. I just- they're, they're fun. Zombies, you know, eating brains and stuff. Maybe that's not that fun. But I like reading it, so. And the last book that he gifted me that I'm probably the most excited for is called uh, Mega, a deep sea thriller. Uh, if- <laughs> by the cover of this you can probably tell it's about a shark. Considering it's called Mega, I'm guessing Megalodon. Uh, which is fun and great and you can never read too many shark books. Just just leave me alone, okay? They're great. They're great. Again, Devin, thank you so 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 much. Thank you. The next four books that I will be showing you were also a gift from a fellow booktuber. The Rejected Manuscript. Her name is Sharkbait. Uh, there is no other name. She doesn't have another name. It's just Sharkbait. Anyway, so Sharkbait sent me four books and she originally told me she wanted to send me one book to which I said yes please thank you. Then I opened a package and found four. What the heck Monse? Thank you though. Thank you so much. The first book she sent me is An Evil Hour by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I now own 100 Years of Solitude and this book. I don't know much about either book. I know nothing but I'm excited to read this. She also sent me Fun Home, a family tragic comic by Alison Bechtel, which is a graphic memoir, I believe. You can't really see that, but um, I'm excited to read this. I don't read a lot of graphic novels and I would love to read more, so I'm really happy I have this. And she also gave me The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer, which is a book that I've been wanting to read for quite a long time. I always see it on Megan and Sue's channel. They talk about it a lot. They always praise it and I've just been wanting to read it for so long. I honestly, I don't know too much about this book, but I have a feeling it's going to break my heart and shatter it into a million pieces. So we'll see. And the last book she sent me was Pirates and Piracy by E. Kebel Ch Chatterton? I'm not sure. A non-fiction book about pirates. What more could I ever want? Nothing really. This is the best gift ever. Pirates, you all know my weird things that I like. Moving on. The rest of the books that I'm going to show you are books that I bought and um, it's, it could be worse. It's not that many. So leave me alone. First up, I got Operation Cure Boredom by Dan Martin. I don't know if you know this, but Dan is a booktuber and he's awesome and he's hilarious and he's funny and his YouTube channel is Dan Martin Likes You, I believe, I think. And this is his memoir, which I was so excited to get. And can we please just appreciate this book cover for a second? Because I am in love with this. This is just weird and strange. I don't know much about this, but I'm really excited to read this nonetheless. Hopefully I get to it soon. The next book I picked up was The Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy and Other Stories by Tim Burton. I'm a big Tim Burton fan, more so of his older films as opposed to his newer films recently, but I'm still a fan of him and I really wanted this book because mainly the illustrations. I love his illustrations and his artwork. I don't think you can see the illustrations from the camera, but I'm excited to read this anyway. And then I picked up Starship Troopers by uh, Robert A. 
Hein Heinlein? I don't know. I recently read War of the Worlds and I, I enjoyed that quite a bit. I just, I wanted more science fiction alien-ish stuff in my life, so I bought Starship Troopers. That's my reasoning behind this. I have seen the film, very entertaining, and I might watch it occasionally. Along those same lines, I also picked up Invasion of the Body Snatchers because I want to read more stuff with aliens. I don't know why. They're just interesting. So, yeah. The Watch That Ends the Night by Hugh McLeanan. I recently just read Two Solitudes by Hugh McLeanan on recommendation from Amy from The Dusty Bookshelf, and I read that. I enjoyed it a lot, and so I messaged Amy and I asked her, what do I read by this author next? Tell me. You're the Canadian literature queen. Just give me all the recommendations. So she recommended this book, and I don't know much about it. I don't care. I'm going to read it, and I'll probably like it a lot, and then I'll probably bug Amy again for more recommendations, because that's what I like to do. The last four books I'm going to show you I found at a thrift store for 50 cents each, so don't judge me. Hiroshima by John Hersey. I've always wanted to read this, never have. It was there. I figured why not. Uh, Civil War Land in Bad Decline by George Saunders. I read, what is it called? I, pa Pastoralia? I read Pastoralia at the beginning of this year, earlier this year. I don't know, something like that. And I liked it a lot. So I saw this there and figured why the hell not? I'll read it. It should be interesting. Two Years Before the Mast by Richard Henry Dana Jr. Yeah. I've wanted to read this book for a long time, and when I saw this edition, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, I couldn't leave it there. I couldn't leave it there. 50 cents. You don't leave books when they're 50 cents and they're that pretty there. Uh, the last book that I picked up is, uh, is Giant, and... <sighs> 11 63 by Stephen King. I just finished reading Under the Dome not too long ago, and I don't know why I did this to myself. Why would I buy another giant Stephen King book? There's such a time commitment, and I don't want to commit to them, but here I am again, buying another giant Stephen King book. I've heard good things about this one. The Assassination, Time Travel, I believe it's a, a TV miniseries, I think? I'm not sure. If you've read this, let me know your thoughts. Is it worth it? Is this giant thing worth it? Just tell me now. Tell me now. I only spent 50 cents on it. I don't have to read it. Well, I mean, you know, yeah. I think I've, I do have to read this. Those are all the books for this book haul. If you've read any of these, leave a comment below. Tell me your thoughts and opinions, blah, blah, blah. Um, I will talk to you guys in another video.